Chordica is a versatile music instrument that allows you to do many things easily. One powerful use is in the area of composing music. Chordica relies on the revolutionary Scordus music method that simplifies music theories without compromising results. For instance, did you know that you can actually play 7920 possible chords with just two fingers? Let me demonstrate how easy it is to compose and play a music sequence that would fit quite nicely in the game. Developers creating Final Fantasy like role playing games should find this demonstration interesting. I will explain in detail the scoreless music method used after the demonstration. It will probably be like nothing you've been told in music theory before. Understanding chords. This portion of the video is rather technical. It is provided mainly to show musicians who understand some theory why scoreless music is a step forward in simplifying accompaniment music training. It is important to note that scoreless music is not the same as the Nashville number system. It was developed independently and there are some critical differences. I will explain chords with reference to what an accompaniment pianist would learn. In a typical music school, you may be taught that the triad you play with your right hand is a chord, and the part you play with your left hand is the bass. Take for instance, the C major chord. A pianist would play a C major triad on the right hand, and a C bass on the left. If the pianist changed his left hand to play a different bass note, something interesting happens. The chord that is heard will not sound like the C major triad in spite of the fact that the right hand is still playing the same notes. This example shows how the sound of the chord is really defined by the bass note and not the triads or the many other notes played above the bass. The notes played over the bass only add harmonic overtones to the chord as defined by the bass. This is why scoreless music defines a chord as simply being the combination of both the bass and the harmony. The harmony being all the other supporting notes played with the right hand for a pianist. The harmony, triads played with the right hand, should not be called a chord, simply because it has no power to exert itself over the bass. When you choose this way of defining a chord, you open yourself up to a world of tremendous possibilities. Just as was demonstrated on the chordica, you can very quickly try various bass and harmony combinations to create many chords and chord effects. In fact, you will probably be playing many fancy chords without even having to know the overly complex conventional chord names. I hope that you now understand how the chordica is capable of doing so much more than just a few simple chords. It is an instrument that can be amazingly rich, if you understood all the concepts that have gone into it. For more tips, do watch the Chordica Revolution channel on YouTube, and register for a free account at the Scoreless Music Forum. All links may be found at cordica.com.